So the combat in Hogwarts Legacy was very good. It was fast, it was satisfying, there were great spell animations, but going into the sequel, the fans are going to be expecting something more. That includes the spells, enemies, mechanics, morality, scale. So in this video, I want to discuss 10 ways to improve the combat in Hogwarts Legacy 2. Hogwarts Legacy features 34 different spells and incantations, but we know that the list goes way higher than that in the lore of Harry Potter. So if they could double the current list, that would be great. And among them, there has to be Fiendfire, Aguamenti, Expecto Patronum with uh, the ability to choose your Patronus. Sectum Sempra is among the high requested spells, but I hate to break it to you, it can't technically happen because Snape won't invented for another hundred years, but maybe the developers can come up with some kind of a cool, nasty looking, bloody alternative to that, like maybe something with ancient magic. Also, a few non super essential and or uh, prank spells would be great to see, but simply adding more spells is not going to improve the overall combat. So I'd rather the developers spend more time on the enemies. Overall, I think the enemies in the sequel can come in bigger numbers, be stronger, and smarter. Like, they only can cast one or two spells ever. Why they can do basic cast, or the killing curse, or any of the unforgivable curses for that matter. Like, I get it that it is a specific mechanic around different color-coded Protegos and having multiple different enemies attacking you at the same time, but I think some of those enemies can be more elaborate with more unique moves and skill sets and ideally stronger. And I'm not talking about be just having a bigger health bar. I'm talking about having elaborate evasive skills, be able to dodge and block instantly our incoming spells, or others should be able to use plants and potions and be able to heal themselves. Also, Please let them come in bigger variety. The list has to grow way higher than that. Like the Wizarding World is rich with all kinds of crazy, dangerous creatures lurking in the in the wild in general. I mean, there's a reason why students learn about all these creatures in school so they can defend themselves properly. For instance, does anyone know whatever happened to gnomes? Like, why are they never in the game? I would love to have this nasty little pest to work like a mini <laughs> enemy in the game and have the ability to kick them across the field. So we know that different wand cores and woods uh, produce slightly different magic. So I think it would be interesting if in Hogwarts Legacy 2, we would have different builds, but implemented through wands. Say, for example, you start the sequel with your wand being uh, confiscated by the Ministry or broken during the battle. Then you have to go to the Ollivanders, but this time in Diagon Alley, because that one is kind of closer to the Ministry, and you get a new wand. And in that process, you will select your wand core and wood, each offering different stats and abilities. For instance, a Dragon Heart String core could produce more powerful magic, but might be less accurate with occasional spell misfires. A Phoenix Feather core could be incredibly loyal, like it will never misfire, but not as powerful initially. A Unicorn Hair core could offer the fastest cooldowns and high accuracy, but won't be as powerful. So it'd be kind of like a, you know, the thief build, like in other <laughs> RPGs. And then the wood type, length, and flexibility would further diversify your build, adding unique stats and enhancing your Playstyle. So the idea behind this mechanic is so you have different pros and cons with different cores that will result in very unique builds. And this can really add to the replayability of the game to have players experimenting with different wand cores, with types, length, etc. And then match to their own preferred playstyle. Also, maybe we could have new experimental wand cores because Ollivanders did it. You know, he tried different ones, not just three. He settled on the three, but he did, you know, experiment with others. That could be interesting too. So this one was actually suggested by you guys. What if we weaponize different magical beasts in the sequel? You know, there's different blast-ended scroots, fire crabs, they can be artillery support, their nifflers can go sneaking on enemies and stealing wands or whatnot or distracting them. You know, there's salamanders, pixies, the weird bees that sting you. 
What about the mini dragons from Goblet of Fire? They can become our little Pokemon on the battlefield. Like, oh my god. Th by the way, this was literally the dream I had when reading the books. Like, to have a mini dragon in real life just living on my nine stand. You know, like, there's so many magical creatures out there that we can tame, train, and equip to use in different ways. Maybe not necessarily battles, but we're talking about combat here. So, yeah, maybe even if you not, if you don't treat them well or don't train them well enough, they won't fight for you properly. Or maybe they will be escaping the battle. Or in other situations, if you give them something special, like a cool treat or a little potion, then they will have unique effects. Which, by the way, is tapping into the next part of this video, uniqueness. When playing certain action RPGs, I love discovering unique abilities and combinations the game doesn't tell you about. But what really excites me is then watching, you know, YouTube videos and seeing people using similar spells but in different way that result in completely different, like, unique animation or effect. So I think Hogwarts Legacy 2 could use some of that uniqueness in combat, and that can be achieved through indirect spellcrafting. Imagine combining two different spells to create a unique effect. For example, pairing Incendio with a Pogno could ignite objects and hurl them at enemies, or using Glacius and Engorgio together could produce a massive boulder that will fly and smash multiple enemies at the same time. Another one could be Ventus and Glacius resulting in an avalanche. Um, but yeah, like basically have this creativity given to the players to experiment pairing different spells together and resulting in unique effects. Additionally, we could have random visual effects occurring under specific circumstances, like for example spells colliding midair or sometimes causing Priorian Cantatum. Like, because it's a rare thing, but sometimes maybe they're like certain scenarios that they cast at the same time if the spells are powerful enough they create pure incantatum, not just like in the final battle with the main guy. Moreover, incorporating silly and like prank spells in combat could add another layer of uniqueness because maybe there are some spells that are not meant for combat, but you're gonna use for combat, like Tarantalegra, Bad Boogie Hex, or make you know, a head turn into a pumpkin that will distract, it won't kill the guy you like, you need just to get across this area and that's it. Maybe that could be an option. Again, give more flexibility and choices the, devel the developers, the players can make while playing. Like, let us levitate cupcakes infused with sleeping charm to get rid of the poachers. By the way, this is kind of tapping now into the next part, strategy. What a night. Nine raids. Nine! Right? The idea behind the next point is to bring a more strategic approach to battles. I've talked about this in another video, but uh, basically, say you have spells like Protego Maxima or Protego Diabolica in the game. They won't become very handy during quick battles because they, they take a lot of time to set them up, but they will become more handy during raids. Every time the raid would start, there will be initial signal letting you know that the enemies are coming, which will give you a little window to prepare. That window will be like 30 to 60 seconds, and you will use that to cast Protego Maxima or Diabolica, or, for example, pre-smash some, some objects to have debris to then apogno onto the enemies. I don't know, pour a puddle of water to then engulf the enemies with, or... I don't know, you can do nothing and just start shooting them from, from afar because they'll be coming like on the brooms or something. Or maybe if it's inside of a house, disguise as, as one of the furniture and then kind of surprise them and do a little stealth uh, takedowns with that, you know? This could really give us a strategic way we can use environment to our advantage and in general have pre-planning you know, how you're gonna deal with enemies. That's what I really wanna have during combat. Also, in other situations, we can be the ones doing the raids. Maybe we're gonna be helping someone in the ministry, like, I don't know, to find someone in London or something like that. And we're gonna be the ones going through different layers of, you know, defenses that the enemies put up, you know, in maybe like an apartment building or, I don't know, a church, basement, whatever. Whatever London has. In Hogwarts Legacy, there's only one single spell that you can cast while mounted, and that is Revelio. You can also take damage uh, from incoming fire and even die on the broom, but you can never fight back. Something I think should be fixed in Hogwarts Legacy 2 by adding 
air combat. And I'm not just talking about like they have the ability to cast spells onto the ground enemies. Give them brooms too. Let them be in the air and let us have full on aerial battles. But the only issue I have with this is that how do you make it work properly and seamlessly? Because you'll have to be flying through a three dimensional space, switching targets and casting spells at the same time. I mean, some games do that, like, I know, GTA with <laughs> when you're in a helicopter or something. But maybe they can add an autofly, kind of like in Assassin's Creed, when you can, like, tell your horse to go towards a marker on the map or, like, just follow the road. Maybe that can help. On beasts, it would be kind of different because maybe some of them can run away. If they start getting attacked, they can just get spooked. Or maybe others can help and fight back. Like, you know, grab horn on like some will start to bite. Oh my God, imagine we could fly on a dragon. But no, 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 that we cannot really tame them. Well, but maybe with ancient magic, we could. Is it infused with ancient magic? I don't know. Um, yeah, anyways, aerial combat. Yes, please, let's, let's do that. Let's make it happen. Harry Potter and the Fantastic Beast films really gave us the idea of how big and complex wizard battles can be. Like, take the battle for the Department of Mysteries, for instance. Like, it started kind of small with little pew pew pew, and then it grew into this massive chaos. In Hogwarts Legacy, we do get pretty epic battles on certain occasions, but I think we can crank the scale and the complexity up in the sequel. The great example for this is God of War. It has one of the most epic combat feats ever. Each battle kind of evolves, it grows upon itself, it, it has different stages, it changes locations, it, and it builds and builds upon itself, and then it explodes into this exhilarating drive that always ends in a spectacular way. So I think that complexity and evolution of battles would be a great addition to the combat that already matches Order of the Phoenix type of battles. While of course, uh, these massive battles can't happen all the time, we can still have intense one-on-one -on -one duels with some tough mini or even maxi bosses. And wink wink, they don't always have to be between wizards, these battles, these duels. We can be encountering crazy ass bitches out in the wild. I said it many times. I don't know, let's find Fluffy and fight that. And, or maybe there's gonna be a giant chessboard. There's a boss. Like, yeah, there will there will be crazy fast chessboards that you, they're, they're gonna be killing you. You're gonna have to fight off that. What, what about those demonic figures there are as gargoyles and Hogwarts? They can be animates too, oh my God. Or even that mechanical thing. Just like, don't even bring anything new. Just animate that in one of the dungeons and have, we had that actually. And, in, in one of the Harry Potter games, uh, as I recall, right? There was a gargoyle that was fighting us. Come on, like, let make that happen. Combined with raids that I mentioned earlier, with random encounters, with still having the encampments, and maybe add in some uh, student duels, this will give a huge variety of different types of combat that we can have in the game that will just keep bringing people back to get that adrenaline rush from combat. I mean, uh, pretty much every point that I mentioned here adds a new mechanic to the game, but I think polishing existing features um, could be great. Like, for example, adding movement while casting spells and having the ability to charge the attacks could be great. Also, maybe going deeper into the combinations that we already have right now and have more unique effects as a result of a certain sequence of the spells. Like for example, if you if you mash quickly the basic cast button, then it will result into this quick burst of, ma of magic beams. Uh, or I don't know, different sequence on specific spells would cause a certain shockwave or combination of colors. And you know, like we have that, but I think again, going deeper in that could be great. Also, we could go deeper into elements like put different spells into groups like uh, water, fire, earth, wind, uh, maybe also dark magic and maybe ancient magic have their own groups and then change the coloring of the Protegos a little bit differently. And this could actually work pretty well with different builds. And maybe our color of the Protego will change too based on our build. Also, I have a question for you guys. What would you say about adding melee weapons or melee combat in general in, in the game. I, 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 I don't know where I said about this, so I'm not really suggesting it yet. I just wonder 
I, I just want your opinion on this because like Gryffindors can have Gryff the Gryffindor sword, but like maybe others can have unique weapons. Like, I, you know, goblins use axes and swords. Maybe we could do that too. We can, if, I don't know, someone explain armors to wand out of our hands, then we start fist fighting or like kicking. I, I don't know. That could be, that could be an option. Let me know what you think about it. Finally, morality. I know a lot of people are asking for this feature and adding morality will change the way we approach combat, but I fear it might become, it might make combat too restricting. So my suggestion is to add some layers uh, and some features of morality system to combat by punishing us for using lethal force instead of defensive and add both police and wanted systems that would not only make us think twice before making a choice, but also will make us face stronger enemies if we choose to go down the dark path. But I need to explain this um, more in depth and I've already stretched this video far too long. So come over here to continue this discussion. But guys, let me know what you think about my list here. How would you uh, make combat in Hogwarts Legacy sequel better? Let me know in the comments, but as always, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and all the other buttons of that nature. I thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.